Folks, for quite some time, we have been saying that this is going to be happening. Now, I know a lot of my videos start with me saying, we warned you. But folks, this one's a big deal. We have been reading news reports about these supply chains being disrupted. And it's really amazing because what we have been observing as of late is completely unprecedented. Now, I'll tell you a little story that kind of gives you some background behind this, but uh, they had a air show in our local area recently, and we've been kind of excited to go to it and really wasn't able to do it this weekend. But I was sort of scouting out areas that we might be able to watch the air show from. And of course, on the top of the hill in Signal Hill is an ideal place to watch anything that's going on off the coast. And as I stand there, I look down upon the ocean only to see that there are more ships than I can count. I mean, they're so far out, it's nothing like I've ever seen before. Even worse than when the beginning of all this health crisis happened, it's worse than anything that I've ever seen, and these supply chains are being disrupted so radically, it's not even funny. According to CBS News in Los Angeles, which I, you know, listen, I don't put a lot of trust in fake news, but I know this number is pretty darn close to accurate. They say that there are 500,000 shipping containers that are floating off the coast of Southern California. An overwhelming majority of the shipping containers that are floating off the coast of Southern California are right in our neighborhood, right here in the Long Beach area. Now, why is this such a big deal? When the supply chain becomes affected, when it becomes shortened, everything changes. The global economy becomes affected. When the global economy becomes affected, then the very way we actually do business completely changes. It affects everybody. Let me read a quote that was issued by a man who was a truck driver who was being interviewed by the folks at CBS News. And he said this, he said, quote, I've got friends right now that are in line from nine o'clock in the morning and they can't pull the load yet. They wait for hours and hours and hours. And he goes on to say this. He says, the people inside, they get paid by the hour, but not the drivers. And he's right. These guys who used to go to the docks to grab a shipping container would grab a shipping container, drive it to a local area where it needs to be dumped off. They would come back and they would sometimes grab five or six containers a day. Now they're going from grabbing five or six containers a day to grabbing one sometimes every other day, waiting an overwhelming majority of the time and not making any money. Now what's going to happen? Well, the truck drivers are going to stop driving trucks because they're not going to be making a lot of money and when they begin to do that we're going to even we're going to slow down even more the way that we are getting these containers out to lots of people and folks all of this is evidence of the fact that we are coming to a time where the economy is going to start collapsing in ways we don't even realize and through the collapse of all of these things it will open up the door for the ideals of globalism to want to solve the problem they're already blaming COVID. They're blaming, uh, let me see, what are they blaming? They're blaming uh, this on global warming. Yes, climate change. And they're literally going forth, creating a condition that doesn't need to be created only so that they can come in and be the heroes with a solution that takes away more of your freedom. Folks, freedom is has always been God's idea, which is why we need to stick closely to God in deciphering and determining how we deal with the things that we face on a regular basis. My advice to you, protect yourself from a time that we are about to see where things are gonna become very scarce for a very, very long time. Now, I'm not asking you to go and buy a 25 year supply of food and all that kind of thing, but what I am saying is be wise because we're headed down a rocky road and that rocky road is not going to be easy. We need to be thinking through these things, guys. Open up your eyes. Look around because we know that Christ is coming soon and this world is becoming a darker place. It's time to wake up, everybody. Keep your eyes open. We don't have a lot of time. God bless you guys.